What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're taking a look at the Akamai KPM. So this week we're taking a look at the Akamai KPM and I'm very excited about this product because I absolutely love the KPS so much that I actually bought one for my own Nano Reef Tank and I am very familiar with this product and I'm glad to see that they've made a larger one. This is the ideal power head for those that have a 50 gallon all the way up to a 125 gallon aquarium and it's extremely ideal for a person that is looking for some controllability in their power head yet don't want to commit to a aquarium controller. So let's jump into our look at the Akamai KPM. All right guys so we're going to be taking a look at the Akamai KPM. We've already done a look at the KPS which was the little brother to this guy. Uh, not that long ago and we're going to be putting a link to that video in the description just so if you want to take a look at that um, it's also going to go into a little bit more detail on setting up the Akamai products from scratch because we already have the Akamai app installed on our phone so it's going to be a little bit easier to set up uh, with the KPM but let's take a look at our box and see what we got here it says that this pump is for 50 to 125 gallons uses the Aquamai app to control this pump and you can find that app on Apple as well as Android. Uh, some of the specs on this it has a dimension of 67 millimeters. Uh, flow range is 1100, 2700 gallons per hour. Wattage is 12 to 25 watts. And it can go up to a uh, glass that is three quarters of an inch thick and is ideal for tanks from 50 to 125 gallons. Very awesome that they have a larger pump in the Akamai line. Uh, in this box you're going to get the kpm pump the controller the power supply and power cord and just a quick breakdown of what to expect when you have the kpm uh, it's programmable and it is a patented dual magnet support system uh, it's compact it's a very small pump very energy efficient especially um, when you are getting into the controlling aspect of things and setting up your program uh, it's very silent you can use the aquamai app to control it gives you water flow. One thing that this pump will do for you is it will give you that wave action that a lot of people are looking for. So let's jump into the KPM. So right on top you're going to find your controller. It seems like they've changed it a little bit. I'm not 100% sure but very light. Seems like it's smaller but I'll have to take a look at the KPS to know for sure. This is your power supply cable management tools. You get a fair amount of cord with this power head. It doesn't seem like it's much longer than the KPS, but it's definitely a lot wider. Because the KPS was smaller than an egg. That's probably the size of a large tangerine or a small orange. Really good looking power head. I'm going to take my KPS out of my nano tank and see how it compares to the KPM. All right, so as far as comparisons go, uh, the pucks are exactly the same. It's not what I expected. Originally, I thought this puck was a little bit lighter in weight, but it's exactly the same and it's the same exact size as well. Now on the back it will, if you were to mix these two pucks up, it does tell you that this is the KPM model. So that's important, that's good to know. Uh, and as far as the two power heads, you know, the KPS is about the size of an egg, maybe even a little bit smaller than an egg, uh, where the KPM is probably the size of a small orange or even a small apple. Uh, it's a lot broader, really, about the same exact design with the exception that the the magnet attached to the prop of the power head is a bigger and you do have a three bladed prop on this power head and you only have a two bladed prop on this guy and this guy's really meant for nano tanks anyways where this guy's you are more medium sized tanks you know 50 gallons to 125 gallons so one of the things that i love most about the kpm is that it is very user friendly and very easy to set up now if you want to take a look at how to set up the KPM or the KPS. It is included in the KPS video, so I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below if you wanna check that out. When I went to install the KPM in the tank, I had cleaned the glass off some before I put that in the tank, and it had a lot of debris flowing around in the tank. When I installed the KPM and turned it on, it kicks on automatically at 50% of its total power. And you can really notice in this shot that I'm gonna show you right here, how much of the debris that came from the cleaning the glass is getting blown around in the tank 
from the KPM. There's no other pumps on that side of the tank. I have a six foot tank. The other pumps on the other side are obviously doing their thing. I figured that was a really good clip to share with you guys because it actually shows how much power the KPM actually has. I absolutely love the Aquamai line of products. The KPS was absolutely amazing. I believe the KPM is gonna be just as good, but I'm gonna finish this video the same way I did the KPS video, and I'm really looking forward to the KPL. I think the KPM is a great step forward, especially for those guys that have those medium-sized tanks, and for us that have the larger tanks, we're just going to have to hold our breath for the KPL. That's going to do it for today. If you want to check out the KPM or the KPS, there are links down in the description below. If you're new to our premium aquatics video series, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. That's going to do it for today. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.